Hello everyone, I welcome you all to yet another informative video from IntelliPath. In today's video, we are going to learn about decorators in Python. The word decorator may sound fancy, but instead of just beautifying your code, it makes it look more organized, encourages code reusability, enhances readability, and there's a lot more to it which we are going to cover in this video. But before we begin, I would like to request you guys to enable both subscribe button and the bell icon to come across more such informative videos from IntelliPath YouTube channel. First of all, let me take you guys through today's agenda. In this video, we are going to understand what are decorators in Python, how do they work, and why do we need them. Apart from this theoretical knowledge, we will also get our hands on to the IDE and try to write a simple Python program to demonstrate the working of these decorators. So let's get started with the first topic on our list, what are decorators in Python. So let's get started with the first topic on our list, what are decorators in Python. Python decorators are powerful tools which allows us to change the original behavior of a function. It does so without making any changes to the actual body of the original function. It means whatever modifications we are willing to make to a function's appearance or behavior can be done using a decorator without even touching the original function itself. This helps to keep the contents of the original function intact and reduces the overhead of finding the function and then making changes to it manually. Let's try to understand how these decorators work. But before we dive deep into the working of the decorators, let me share a few facts about the functions in Python. In a Python program, the functions are treated as first class objects. They can be utilized directly or supplied as arguments. A function can be assigned to a variable and it will store that function in the same way it stores any other data. Using this variable at any point in our Python program will be equivalent to calling it. Using this variable at any point in our Python program will be equivalent to calling that function itself. A function can be passed as parameter to another function also. It is similar to passing a value to a function. The only difference here is a function passed as an argument takes all of its properties along with it. And a function can also return another function in the same way it returns any data or any kind of calculated value. The reason I am sharing these facts is because these properties of a function allows the implementation of decorators in a Python program. A decorator is basically a function wrapping another function. What it does is, it takes a function as an argument and then keeps the preceding content in place. Then calls this argument function and then finally keeps the following content in its place. This way it wraps the argument function in between the desired modifications. In this whole process, it doesn't touch the actual content of the argument function. It simply appends the extras before and after the original function. So we have gathered enough information regarding what a decorator is and how it works. Let's hop onto the ID and give this a try. Okay, we are in Google Collapse now. You can try this out in whichever ID you are comfortable with. So let's start with creating a simple function which prints something. So let's call this function as just function. And let's say it will print, I am a function, a simple function. So this is without decorator. Let's try to print this function and see the output. So to print, we'll just simply call it. And let's run. And yeah, here it is. I am a simple function the expected output which we wanted. So now let's try to create a decorator function. So how a decorator function looks like. It's a simple function. So def, let's call it decorate. And we know that a decorator function takes in an argument. So let's just write a arg, arg for argument. Then we have a inner function that works as a wrapper. So we'll write def inner uh, instead of inner function, let's try writing wrapper only, just to make it clear. So it is our wrapper function which will wrap the contents. So uh, let us assume that we want to write something before our function and then we want to append something after our function. So in that case, our function will be falling in between those two. So let's assume that we are trying to print something before our function. So we'll write print and then a statement. Let's say uh, before function and 
after that we call the function which is passed as argument so we will be simply calling this argument only the reason i will be covering that in a few minutes and then the following content let's say it after function okay so our decorator is almost complete but we are missing something and that's a return function so a function have a property that it can return another function within itself so in this case we will be returning the wrapper function itself so all the contents within this wrapper function will be passed on to wherever this decorate function is called so now we have our decorator function we have a function which we want to decorate but currently these two are not interlinked let me try to run and show you the output see i am a simple function that's just the output of function because we are calling function in order to decorate this function we will need to pass this as an argument to the decorator so to do that we will be needing a variable so i am considering my function itself as a variable i will be calling decorate and i will be passing this particular function as an argument to decorate and then i will be simply calling this function once again let's see what output it brings as we can see before function then i am a simple function and after that for function so this is the output of our decorate so what is happening here is i have assumed a variable named function i am assigning decorate function to this uh, function variable and i am passing this particular function as its argument so this whole function is being passed over here and within this we come inside the wrapper function it prints before function and then it calls this argument which is basically this function only which comes from here and that's why i am a simple function is printed in place of this argument and then simply after function is printed and this whole thing is inside this function and that's why when i call it it just prints the whole story right here there's another way of doing this so instead of uh, passing these as uh, uh, instead of passing these as argument to decorators again and again we can use another thing we have created a decorator once in our program and after that whenever we are creating a new function all we need to do is instead of this line let me commit it out instead of this what we can do is we can simply call the decorate function like this so what happens here is this decorate assigns whatever the following function uh, is there it assigns this function as argument to the decorate function itself and then it does the exact thing which we saw now let me try to run it and see the output and the output is exactly the same before function i am a simple function and after function so these are two different ways of using a decorator so assume that we are having n number of functions in our program which needs similar decoration in it and uh, instead of calling this uh, uh, instead of passing those function as an argument to this decorate again and again it would be simpler to just create a decorate function on top and then whenever you are needing this decoration in any function just write add the decorate before it and everything will be passed as an argument automatically to the decorate and when you call that function it will simply print the expected output i hope you have understood how do we write a decorator function so now we know how to use a decorator in our python program but why exactly do we need it so basically adding an extra functionality to our pre-existing function is why decorators are actually used for in most of the scenarios they are also used for logging and time measurement purposes they are used for counting the function calls check argument type at run time and also to enforce the code reusability and there are much more implementations of the decorators it depends upon the programmer that's all we have for this session i hope you have got a good understanding of python decorators how it works and what is its significance I'm sure now you'll be able to write your own Python program using decorators in it. Thank you for being here till the end of this session.
If you have liked this video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel to come across more such updates from IntelliPath YouTube channel. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPath offers executive postgraduate certification in software development in collaboration with iHub Divya Samparka IIT Roorkee. Through this course, you'll learn a multitude of tools used in the industry such as Git, React, Express, Node.js, MongoDB and more from the esteemed IIT Roorkee faculties and industry experts. With this course, we have already helped thousands of professionals in successful career transition. You can check out the testimonials on our Achievers channel whose link is given in the description below. Without a doubt, this course can set your career to new heights. So visit the course page link given below in the description and take a first step towards career growth in the field of software development.